Welcome to Buddhism Today, where the world is covered highway of Buddhism. Buddhist ceremonies such as ordinations, weddings, housewarming, or funeral are categorized into either mongkon or auspicious ceremony or awa mongkon or misfortune ceremony. In Buddhist custom, there are two types of merit-making ceremonies. Uh, simply, it is put it as uh, auspicious ceremonies and inauspicious ceremony. Uh, those two types of ceremonies, or the merit-making ceremonies, is basically divided by any event which are dedicating to the joyous event. For example, if it is your birthday, if, for example, it is your wedding, then you invite monks in order to make a merit-making ceremony. Uh, generally, in a wedding, for example, it's a very different, thing, in fact, uh, because in the Christianity or the religion, the priest play a very important role, as it is a marriage is a sacred. But uh, in Buddhist, the, in those wedding ceremony, although it is auspicious, but uh, it is just simply it is a secular uh, ceremony. It's not a, a true religious ceremony. So, but you invite monks using that occasion as a happy occasion in order to get blessing from those monks. Uh, for your housewarming party, for example, if you have a new house, if you have a new office, then you invite Buddhist monks to do what we call this uh, chanting. Chanting, basically, what, we, what the monks chant is that is something which is uh, all the teachings which make it auspicious, in fact. It is another auspicious, uh, it has become auspicious because of chanting, but it is a chanting itself, the teaching itself, the guiding itself, which those listeners or the, those owner of the event practices, then you will have that auspiciousness. That is what you call the auspicious or mongkon, piti mongkon. For the piti apa mongkon, uh, it's basically it's inauspicious. It is an inauspicious because the ceremony is related with dedicating to the death. It is related to dedicating to the someone who is already passed away. So the passed away, for example, if someone passed away, the first thing is that the monks will, the, you will have, you have to invite monks to, uh, to bring that body from the hospital or the, the point of the, the place of the death to the proper temple or even in your house. And then you have to put it in the coffin. Once you put it in the coffin, then the ceremony goes on. Sometimes the ceremony goes on for uh, one day, three days or seven days, or uh, sometimes even longer than the three, four months or even for years. Uh, it depends on the wishes of the relatives. Then all those chanting, dedicating to the dead, even if you have a cremated, those then you keep uh, ashes, or you can keep the pictures. If those uh, pictures are the ashes, if you do the merit making, relating to the those deceased one, then it is called inauspicious uh, ceremony, or inauspicious merit making ceremony in Buddhism. So basically, in your life, if you really want to do the merit making ceremony, you can refer to the any causes, which is the pleasurable causes, or which is the sorrow causes. So that is a piti mongkon and piti apa mongkon. <laughs>